Today we are at York Grill to meet with Chef Stefan Wiles as he will be creating an amazing recipe using several Roland food products. For 75 years, Roland products have been a staple of almost every home kitchen. Because of their extensive variety of products, they are also a favorite of restaurant chefs around the world. Let's go on inside and say hi to Stefan. Today. We are going to do a white truffle, white polenta, uh, a little creamy with uh, mushroom ragu, really simple stuff. Uh, today I'm going to be using uh, portobellos, small portobellos, not the giant ones. You want to kind of keep things proportionate. Um, and we have some oyster mushrooms. Those come from Hudson Valley. We have some shiitakes and uh, we have some grape tomato, which is coming out of New Jersey right now and they're really fresh. And um, we're going to be using Roland, which is a uh, readily available product, um, really consistent, uh, reasonably priced. We're going to go ahead and bring some um, heavy cream and milk up to a boil. Uh, if you don't want to use heavy cream, you can use just milk to bring the calorie count down a little bit. But I think it takes a little bit away from the uh, overall flavor, you know, because let's face it, fat is flavor. Um, so we're going to bring that up to a boil. And this is actually going to take a few minutes. Our cream is coming to a boil. And uh, to a wrap of boil, what we're going to do is we're going to take some polenta and a whisk. And what we're going to do is just slowly incorporate this. Go ahead and stir that. Um, be careful. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut some mushrooms while you're doing that. Is that all right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So for these mushrooms, what you want to do is you want to get a nice slice on them. You don't want them too thick because you want them to be able to saute in the pan. Um, now, when you sear these, what you want to do is you want to do it on high heat because mushrooms are 85% water, and what you're going to do, if you do it on low heat, you're going to remove all the moisture and all the flavor from them. As soon as that polenta, oh yeah, okay, let's switch spots. Yeah, let's switch. Let's so that's switch. good. Okay. So this is the consistency of the polenta. Again, when you're working with this, I would recommend at home you use a wooden spoon. I do it because I have no feeling in my hands. <laughs> um, but there you go. What we're going to do is we're going to stir a little bit of white truffle oil in here. Yeah, there you go. Good amount. And we're going to add a little salt just for seasoning. There we go. And you just kind of incorporate this in there vigorously. And this loosens up the polenta a little bit too. If you need to add a little bit of butter, then you're good to go. So that's basically what you're going for right there. It's a nice, beautiful polenta. We're going to set that to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to crank the heat up. And again, you have to do these mushrooms on high heat. So we're going to let this pan heat up a second. And uh, we're going to add a little oil to it. I use sunflower oil because it has a higher flash rate. And we're just going to let that heat up. So we're going to start with some onion. You may want to watch yourself here. Okay. Again, nice high heat. Let that sear down for a second. You're not looking to brown these. All you're looking to do is extract a little bit of the flavor into the oil and uh, let that go for a second. We're going to add a little bit of grape tomatoes. You can cut them in half if you want to. I leave them whole, depending on what size they are. And uh, here you go. Sweet. That's how you do it. Okay, now we're going to start with the oysters because they're bigger. We want them to cook a little bit longer. And again, I use big clumps here. If you see one that's too big, just rip it in half. It's a mushroom. Again, high heat. We'll follow that with the, sh with the portobellos and maybe some shiitakes. Just enough. And there you go. You get that in there. All right, we'll let that cook down. I think this needs a little more oil. What I do sometimes when vegetarians come in and they want this, I'll add um, what I call salsa verde. All it is is parsley, um, oil, a little garlic, and a little shallot that's some, you know, put in a blender. I'll add it to this, and then oh, it's nice. a vegetarian product. But usually what I'll do is I'll add a little veal stock to it. And uh, that's what all your base sauces are made out of. And, uh, oh, you're a vegetarian. I'll have to do you one without. So now you have a mushroom ragu with a little veal demi-glace. Now you just want to taste the seasoning. If it's too salty, that's actually pretty much bang on. We're going to add a little more butter to thin this out. This, it's called Monte au beurre in France. So you have your polenta here, however you want to scoop it out. Just go ahead and add those mushrooms in there. Some of the tomato. It tastes pretty good too. It 
the end of that, we're going to grab a little more white truffle oil. Just go ahead and garnish that up. Add a little color to the plate, a little more flavor. Because truffle oil is really intense. I mean, it's, I love it. And I like to put a little cheese on it because um, I like cheese. And so we have a little uh, pecorino that's been shaved. And uh, that's basically it. If you want to add some parsley to it. So you have white polenta with white truffle oil, wild mushroom ragu with a demi glace, and a little uh, pecorino romano on top. Thanks to Chef Stefan Wiles here at York Grill and to Roland Food. You can find out more and get more recipe ideas online at rolandfood.com.